This is Boone. He is a five-year-old Eastern Black Rhino. Born and raised in San Francisco, he was named after San Francisco 49er right tackle Alex Boone, and a proper name at that. The Eastern Black Rhino is the most aggressive of the rhino species. Poor in eyesight, they will charge at anything that causes them stress. Poaching has caused the numbers of the Eastern Black Rhino to dwindle. 740 are believed to be alive in the wild. Most of our accused are people from Vietnam, uh, with exception of, I think, one or two other people, it was all Vietnamese citizens that were prosecuted and convicted in our area. Vietnam, once home to thousands of Javan rhinos. In 2011, poachers killed the nation's last animal living in the wild. Yet the country has no shortage of rhino horn. Vietnam has become a key destination targeted by traffickers. Bởi vì sừng sừng tê ấy, thì từ lâu đời của Việt Nam ấy thì là các cụ nhà mình tức là hàng trăm năm trước đã dùng rồi. Bởi vì là những cái hiện tượng như là sốt cao, sốt quá cao rồi sinh co giật, rồi sốt cao sinh điên cuồng thì ngày xưa thì không có những vị nào bằng đó cả. Nếu mà bị ngay và uống ngay thì nó sẽ cứu cái người bệnh đến 70%. If we don't take immediate action to end the slaughter of rhinos in South Africa, these majestic creatures will be pushed back to the brink of extinction, and we're not willing to accept that on our watch. We are training and equipping a specialist rhino protection unit that can and will meet fire with fire when it's necessary. Rhino poaching in South Africa has escalated to the point where the country is facing a conservation disaster. Every single day sees two or more of these animals killed for their horns. Unless there's a dramatic short-term change in how these animals are protected, they could enter a negative growth phase, causing the extinction in the wild. The rhino poaching figures are horrifying. In 2000, only seven animals were poached, but last year, in 2012, more than two rhinos were killed every day, and this trend is continuing in 2013. Poaching techniques have progressed from the bow and arrow and spear into using high-powered rifles, using helicopters, and using professionals such as vets and pilots to actually poach rhinos in Southern Africa, and we see it extending to other countries. So it's a high sophisticated trade that's in place and demand for rhino home. What we are seeing today, the kind of poaching, is what we call a syndicated poaching, where it's not just locally based, it's based in countries like Vietnam and Thailand where criminal gangs have come together to drive the black market through connections with other dealings of money laundering, dealings in prostitution, and also connecting rhino horn smuggling to things like drug trafficking. So it is serious. It has been proven that the horn has no medicinal value and is not a cure for cancer. However, it's still sought after, and mainly in the East. The killing will only stop when the horror of it is understood. First and foremost, we need to protect the rhinos under our care at a number of undisclosed locations in South Africa. Um, if and when the time arrives uh, and private landowners would like to use our expertise and get possible assistance with training of their own units, we would be happy to oblige and help them with it. WWF with partners are trying to ensure there's greater collaboration and linkages between national governments at a prosecution and investigative level to promote sharing of information to ensure that there is nowhere where the criminal syndicates will operate without being traced, tracked down and taken to face the law.